Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table, we're gonna be looking at um, a fairly useful uh, little tool, uh, especially in these days of registration and you know, real focus on safety. Uh, I mean, it's actually uh, from the guys at Altitude Angel, uh, but it's something that can be used worldwide. Uh, but before we go any further than that, it is of course The Kitchen Table, and we must have a beverage of choice when discussing our drones. It's Although it's nearly Christmas, it's not quite, and it is uh, a bit early in the day for anything alcoholic. Uh, so I'm on the coffee, some home roasted, and uh, cheers. Oh, it's the Guatemalan again. Yum, yum, yum. Um, yeah, apologies, there's been a brief hiatus. It's getting to that time of year. We've had some family come and stay with us who, uh, who live in the sticks, so we've taken them out to London and you know, shown them all the sights and stuff. So, um, but back, back, on, back on track now with the vids. Um, flying weather has been, as you know, if you live in the southern part of the UK, uh, negligible over the past, um, past few days. Windy, gusty, rainy, everything except wintry. Uh, today is the coldest day it's been for quite some time. It's been unseasonably warm. We had our warmest December night for decades uh, recently, so not much flying action. But uh, yes, let's talk about uh, something that might be useful for those of you who are into flight safety. You may remember I did a video, uh, an interview with the guys from Altitude Angel a while back, and they are looking to produce a system of kind of uh, virtual air traffic control, automated air traffic control for drones. That's their ultimate goal. Uh, where the drones know where or the drone knows where it is, it knows where things are around it from a database, but it also knows where other air drones and other aircraft are and can 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 avoid things. Now, that's a they've got a bit of a roadmap, a bit of a journey to go to get that uh, sort of fully operational. And one of the steps on that roadmap uh, is to is to launch what they just have, which is their free drone safety map. This is free to everybody. You just need to do a simple registration, I think via email. Uh, I had a look through the terms and th that you've got to sign up to. There's nothing onerous in there. Um, basically the idea is that they're building a database of what out there could be of particular interest to drone flyers. Now, here's one of my old aviation charts from a few years back and you know, apart from being complicated, the scale is completely wrong and, and, and irrelevant for what we're doing. I don't really need to know about all this uh, upper air, you know, this four and a half thousand feet um, uh, class A airspace. Um, okay, it might be useful to know that there's an airfield here, but what I'd be really useful to know is if there are any power lines or if there are anything that I need to, to, to keep out of the way. So what Altitude Angel have done is put together this map and you can overlay it onto Google Earth. So you can, you can access it from your smartphone or you can access it from your computer before you go out flying. And it will show you ground hazards, now and forecast weather, and airspace compliance. Now, the, wanted me to be at pains to say this is not a replacement for your due diligence, your common sense, and your understanding of the law uh, as it applies to you, but this can help you. Um, so they've got a database of 17 million ground hazards, and that's growing. Uh, they've got now and next weather for pretty much every country in the world at the location that you're talking about. And when it comes to compliance with local laws, that's something that they're working on and they're using a special algorithm. They're calling it their sort of um, their rules engine, where basically you'll be able to tell them what kind of drone you're flying. Uh, so you could say, I've got a, a, a drone that's under two kilos and I'm doing it for recreational purposes. And it will then give you a potted summary of what the rules are likely to be both in the country that you're flying and in the location. So it may be that you're within five miles of an airport, so you're not actually allowed to do it, those sorts of things. Um, and what's really interesting is the hazards, and you'll see I'll put on screen some, some pictures. I've done some uh, in the town where I am, and some also I just had a look in the, the USA. I think I picked New Jersey or somewhere like that. You can see they've got 83 different categories. We've got things like power uh, lines, power cables and towers, water towers, police stations, fire stations, schools, kindergartens, uh, train stations, stadia, all that kind of stuff. And as well as just highlighting it, they also give you what the risks and dangers might be. So for example, if you click over onto a power line thing, it will say, look, there is not only a risk that you're gonna come a cropper by flying into this. Uh, there's a risk you will damage an important infrastructure, and there is obviously a risk that you'll get into deep, deep trouble. Um, it has things like water towers and chimneys and, and so on and so forth. Um, 
Now, what they're also now going to build into that, and this is coming out in the next uh, period, small short period of time, is airspace data and particular uh, things like no-fly zones and controlled airspace. They're going to start off with FAA data from the US first, and then in early 2016, UK uh, data from the CAA about where controlled airspace are and where no fly zones are. So these are the legally mandated things that we all should be avoiding anyway. And this will give you the you know, sight of where those are. Um, some really interesting features that they're saying they want to they want to bring forward soon as well, which I think might be particularly interesting. You know, in the set, if we've had this thing, haven't we, about the drone registration in the US? Uh, there's going to be, I think, something similar going to happen in Europe, I wouldn't be surprised in the not too distant future. One of the things they want to be able to do with their system is you can use it to basically prove that you've done your homework. So they will give you a system whereby you can have a unique reference number and you can actually link that to what you've researched. So uh, if something does happen, you can actually say, well, here's my reference number, put that into the map. You'll see that I looked and when I looked, there was no issue to fly here. So if you put a no-fly zone up in the last 20 minutes, well, you know, you need some time to sort of promulgate that. I did my best. That's really useful. And the other thing that they're saying is you can submit a full flight plan. So you could actually say if you were doing a commercial job, say, or you knew you were going to be doing some testing, you could say, I'm going to be flying from here to here to here to here. Um, and then that I'm assuming that that might promulgate on everybody else's map. And we kind of start to get some interaction. But I just thought that was really interesting. It's completely free. Um, they plan to update it. There is a lot more information behind it. That's available uh, via APIs to developers. If you want to develop an app or if you want to develop a flight control software that uses a lot more of the data, then have you know contact them because you can have access to that to do all those trick things. But for those of us who just want to do the right thing and we want an easy way to try and make sure that as best as we can, we are covering up all the bases, then you know, go and have a look at Altitude Angel, sign up uh, for free and, and have a look at their, uh, their drone safety map. There we go. Um, I hope you're going to find that interesting. Do have a look at it. Have a look at it for your um, sort of local area and see if you, you, you agree. I think they've done quite a good job at highlighting things like schools and hospitals. And, but they've done it in a clever way and that they've highlighted the boundaries. They haven't just done a big circle, which is the sort of blunt instrument approach that some of the manufacturers use with their do not fly here stuff. So go and check it out, altitudeangel.com. Um, and there's a link there from the home screen to the drone safety map. Many thanks, and uh, I'll see you again soon back here on the kitchen table. But until then, cheers.